This is what everyone's talking about, the gas price spike. If you were out and about this weekend, you couldn't help but notice. The national average for regular is now 4.06, and that's only five cents below the all-time high that we hit in 2008. In California, prices are just off the charts. Worse, from an economic standpoint, the price of diesel skyrocketing too. 4.61 is the average now, as of this morning. Farmers, truckers, delivery, construction, they all use diesel. Just imagine a trucker with a 300-gallon tank. She's paying over 1400 bucks for a fill-up. A month ago, it was 1100 Inflation is not limited to energy. The price of wheat has risen an astonishing 50% since February the 24th, when the war began. You get a shock at the gas station, you get a shock at the grocery store. That's inflation. What's Biden doing about it? Not much. He talks about spending more money to cut costs. Cue the eye roll. What's the Fed doing about it? Jay Powell will raise interest rates a quarter point this month. That won't do much short term, will it? In short, we are in an inflation spiral and it's not going away. When we had similar spikes in the past, they were followed by a recession. Bad for workers, bad for the economy and very bad for the Democrats in November.